Okay, this is Sean Woodhill, Heavenly Soaps and Such, and I am going to unmold and cut the soap that I made earlier today. Um, this is um, the fourth loaf, and I just was missing just a little bit, so I ended up with three of these and then one more, almost four. So, I'm going to pull it out, and I'm hoping that it's, it's hard enough. Um, I have to kind of check it as I go. Ah. There. So I'm going to kind of see what it looks like. So I'm sit it down. Let's see if you can see me here. There we go. And I'm going to just feel. I think it is. I had it sitting outside. Um, covered so that um, it would firm up before I went to bed because I knew once um, I went to bed it would be a long time before it would be cut and it would be too hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth over it and it it's really soft um, so I'm going to be careful with it but I'm going to carefully lay it on here and I'm going to go ahead and cut okay and you can see what the inside is looking like So, it's still really soft in here. I can see there, so I'm not gonna smash on that or anything. Um, I'm going to just carefully lay them down. Get this done as quickly as possible. I have been um, making YouTube videos and trying to get that stuff um, published. And it probably should have waited just a little bit, but it's not gonna hurt anything because it'll go ahead and um and set up. But you can see it's a little um Still a little wet in, in here. Not real wet, I mean, but it's just it's really, really soft. So, try not to grab it on the inside. I think these turned out nicely. drop it while it's soft. And I just take my finger and run around the edge where the the wire cuts. Just run around the edge like this and it smooths it right out and then I don't have to worry about it. And you can see it's a little soft right here on the corner. But it's on. It will be it will harden right up and I'm just tired and ready to get this done. Really, really pretty. So now I'm going to lift it up and put this in. Go ahead and cut. I'm going to have a little piece on the end. I love this cutter. 
it works wonderful um there's a little bar there really really pretty and the ends are already already hard that's just really unbelievable um but i did have it sitting outside and it's it's kind of cold and i thought you could see me down there and you couldn't okay i move you up so but it's really really pretty I'm loving this like i said loving the cutter it makes it so much easier to cut so much uh, more soap quicker um and then, like i said all i do is just run my finger around and it's ready So you can see that the um, the lard embeds made a nice a nice show. It gives it character. Um, you still get the benefits of the pine tar, um, but it adds some character to it, and I was able to use up those those bars rather than having to just sit on them and hold them. Now they'll sell quickly because this soap sells really, really quickly. I have, I'm have. i trying to figure out how I'm going to do this soap because I have three more loaves which is going to be about 60 more bars. So I want to try to position it where I'm going to be able to get all the soap in here. We'll have to see. I'm going to put one right in the middle like that. And this one I'm just going to leave, I'm going to leave out. Okay. But you can see that the, um, the liner still looks really nice. Uh, I'll wash it off and get the stuff off of it. But these, these were wonderful. I'm really, really happy with how they are um turning out but i'm going to go grab another loaf of soap and i'll be right back okay i'm back with another loaf um this is a an entire loaf like this and um uh, and these do slip right out because i didn't do them where they were long enough to go under and then come up for enough for me to grab so they do um, slip out, but I, I needed them a little longer, but I said I'm not gonna redo them just for, because of that, because it works fine anyway. Okay, so I'm going to, I just lean it over, peel this off. Take my hand and kind of, it's still really warm. Kind of carefully flip it over. Again, just run my hand to make sure it is okay. I'll lift the bud cutter up, the little workhorse. I'm going to put my mold back up. There's no cleaning to the mold at all. Just take the liner out, and I'm done. Um. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in. And go ahead and cut it. And this one is the same way and you can see the difference in the color because it's still soft it'll um once it dries up it'll once it cools down it'll be the same color but really really pretty 
say so just do it, take my finger and run it to get rid of those edges. So this is going to make about um, almost 80 bars. And this is one reason I like doing the three batches at one time because now I don't have to worry about making this soap for a while. And I will, um, next I'll go ahead and make three batches of the lard soap because I am running low on lard soap. And I did want to see how much one of these weighed. Just so I could kind of tell you that turned out really pretty. These weigh um, 5.9 is what that one weighs. And then they weigh different different amounts. Um, I have to kind of weigh another one. Let's see. 5.8. That might be because there's a little pocket on the top 5.7 so I, I guess it depends on how um, how I level the top off but I just kind of and this one is soft I mean is is doesn't have those little places the smooshy places like that first one did. The first one was actually the last loaf that I did, so I should have un, un, uh, molded it last, I guess, but it's not gonna really make a difference when I'm um, molding it about the same time anyway. All right, so now I just lift this back up. Oh, I had one more bar here. I set over there. Just take my fingers and run it around. Um, I don't clean these up any more than that because it's soap and you're going to put it in the the shower and it's going to wash off get wet the first time so it's not really going to matter well I'll, sometimes i pick it up and i'm tired so it's been a long day um i got a lot done but i'm about ready to send the children to bed and call it a night And that one's 5.8. So they're, they're rounding from 5.7 to 5.9. And so when they cure out, what it, my goal is that there'll be five, five, uh, at least five ounces. And that one's 5.7. And you can see, it makes it really pretty. Um, and like I said, the color is just because it's not quite cooled down, um, entirely. So, I might need to get another tray. Um, this one I did three, six, nine, and nine. This is 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, I'm probably going to need... Another, another tray. Here's some little feet run into the bedroom. Here you have it. Um, I was gonna try to squeeze another one in, but it's not going to. It's not going to fit in there. All right, and the last one, and this one, is that. It turned out really, really good. Smells has has the pine tar smell. You can, I can smell. I, I get the effects of essential oils, but it smells more like maybe a little peppermint. I can smell. But but I, my nasal my sinuses can feel the effects of the of the essential oils. So that's good. So. 
but he can't really smell it, smell it too much. So I'm going to um, go get another loaf and I'll bring you back on the last one. Okay, I forgot to bring you back, um, but I am finishing up the last um, loaf of soap. And I have the last part on here, so I'll go ahead and put it on there. Um, put it down. Again, this is kind of the same same thing just kind of little white chunks throughout um i'm just taking my hand still and rubbing it across just told the children to to um get ready for bed yes sir wait wait a minute mommy's recording huh? no you're being too loud in there we're going to bed you're so cool you want to watch shimmer and shine Huh? Me and Honor? No, they're they're just too wide open. I think it's time for them to go to bed, don't you? Can Gracie play? Can Gracie play? Can Gracie watch it with me? I might can tell. Go tell them that they hurry up and don't shake. The, don't shake it, Mom. It's recording. Can Honor play with me? Go tell. No, we're not playing. Uh, go can, tell them. Listen. Go tell them to clean up, and they can watch one show of Shimmer and Shine. Honor. Mm -hmm. Honor and Gracie. I forgot I told him that he could watch Shimmer and Shine, so I'm going to let him watch one episode as long as they can be quiet. And then they're going to bed. Alright, so this is, like I said, the last, the last loaf. And... Really, really, I think it turned out really pretty. And this is the last bar. Okay, so what I have here is I'm supposed to have three, six, three, six, nine, eleven, twenty, uh, twenty two, twenty six, twenty six, and twenty six. So I have seventy eight bars all together. Uh, and then, of course, I have the, the little piece that was left over on the end. And I'm going to try to unplug you just to take you down there. Maybe it won't um, turn off on me. But so this is what what it looks like. What I have, um, I have the 26 bars in that one, 26 bars in that one, and 26 bars in that one, and then the little piece that I ended up and this one the reason I ended up with a leftover piece is because I had the piece of a mold because I've got it um worked out where my mold if it's filled up completely gives me exactly what I need um because I allow a little bit on the ends of each one but this came off the piece of a mold that um where I didn't get to fill up the entire mold and normally I don't even have this so we're not getting the waste not that it's wasted because we use it but I don't get an, a piece like this off every loaf. Normally, I don't get any, so I usually just pick a bar and and use that for us. But anyway, that's there. You have it. Um, seventy-eight bars of pine tar soap. And thanks for watching, everyone. I am going to head to the shower and then head to bed. And I will uh, bring you back another day for another video. Thanks for watching. This is Sean Woodell from Heavenly Soaps and Such. See you next time.